This video will discuss three different eye maladies which can afflict saltwater aquarium fish and possible treatment options. Popeye is not an actual disease, but rather trauma caused by the fish bumping into a rock or getting stung by a coral or anemone. It usually self-heals, but an old standby is to dose Epsom salt at one tablespoon per five gallons to help ease the swelling. You can do this every 48 hours. Epsom salt is just magnesium sulfate, so it won't harm your reef. However, three things to keep in mind before dosing Epsom salt. Number one, only use USP or food grade Epsom salt. Number two, the Epsom salt you use should not contain any scents, just use plain Epsom salt. And number three, the Epsom salt should be fully dissolved in a cup before dosing it into your aquarium or sump. In an emergency, you can lance air out of a fish's eye by using a hypodermic needle. To quote Paul B. directly, take the fish out, hold him in a net or have someone else hold him. Stick the hypodermic needle through the stretched tissue near the top of his eye, not in the eye itself, and withdraw the plunger on the needle. The eye will immediately retreat and go back to where it was. Flukes, which normally remain confined to a fish's skin and gills, will sometimes migrate to the eyes. When this happens, it is especially concerning because the primary medication used to treat flukes, praziquantel, causes them to spasm before dropping off. Therefore, a fish with eye flukes should be given a 5-minute freshwater dip to remove them from the eyes before administering any chemical treatment. An alternative treatment, which avoids having to do a freshwater dip, is treating with hyposalinity for 35 days. Eye infections usually occur when eye flukes are left untreated or when eye trauma does not heal properly. So eye infections are usually secondary in nature to some other pre-existing malady or condition. The danger in leaving an eye infection untreated is the fish could lose sight in the eye permanently or if only one eye is infected, then the infection can spread to the other good eye. Sometimes vitamins and probiotics in the food can boost a fish's natural immune system enough to overcome a minor eye infection. However, if the strategy does not work, we highly recommend treating the fish in a quarantine tank using one of the antibiotics listed on the screen. Thank you for watching this video. See links in the comments section for more information and visit my website to get more fish disease and treatment advice.